significance of the Ring of Fire and the significance it holds for everyone in this province and in Canada is absolutely unquestionable. All of you here today know that it is one of the most promising mineral deposits and development opportunities in Ontario in more than a century. The second, the fourth, that was the second largest, the fourth largest source of chromite in the world. And that is critical to uh, industry around the world. You know that it's valued at a $60 billion potential. So we have to move on it, and we are. Uh, this, the time that we've spent to make sure that we had uh, a framework agreement in place with the Metallo First Nations was time very well spent and extremely important. And I want to just acknowledge the work that Michael Gravel has done on that front because he led... <laughs> Previously, we were looking for matching funds from the federal government to build the necessary infrastructure to develop the Ring of Fire. But we have not seen any indication in the last uh, number of weeks that uh, Stephen Harper is interested in stepping forward and making the same kind of support available to the Ring of Fire as he made available to the oil sands. We have not seen that kind of... Uh, of responsibility taken. He has not taken that responsibility, but I am. We are making it a priority for my government, and that's why I'm announcing today that we'll commit a billion dollars with or without the federal government involvement toward the transportation infrastructure that will help make the Ring of Fire. <laughs>